Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we are in Toronto and we're looking at this 2011 Ford F450 tow truck with a 6.7 power stroke diesel, dually. It's been blacked out. Pretty decent shape for what it is. You can see the bed has been repainted. Uh, sealed, probably spray bomb, something like that. Nothing too fancy. Uh, it does have some little spots of, of stuff that we're seeing coming through. Little bits of repair through here you can see. Uh, once the video is done, I'll do paint thickness verification. Uh, I forgot to do that before I started the video. But as you can see, it has been painted. There's the tailgate, a couple of dents. Uh, we'll show the lift operating at the end of the video. Tail lights are good. It is equipped with a bed cover, which seems to work nicely. It has a bed liner in it. it seems to be in decent shape. Uh, not no rust in the tailgate, bottom of the tailgate area. Looks pretty solid. tailgate operates as it should it locked properly all those again taillights are good uh, you see a little bit of this coming through in areas and it was painted to prevent it from going further you can see some some repair spots things like that along this bed and along here The, below the body line has also been uh, taped off and repainted. You can see, he said it was because when they took the letters off it, it peeled some of the clear coat and stuff, so they peeled that all off. It is equipped with running boards, a little bit of, a couple of chips in the door, some little scuff there. All the windows are in good condition. Uh, all four are Ford windows, the windshield, does seem to have been replaced. There are no chips or anything in it. We're pretty good there, but it has been replaced. Looks correctly, I don't see any issues. Uh, it does have uh, some tint along the top there. Like I said, they are all original Ford windows. You can see in the video there, all four are. It's also a little rust coming through at the bottom of the, these are the back doors, you can see the Trim is a little rusty coming off. Uh, it's also on the other side. Forgot to show that. You can see a little bit of bubbling through there. A little bit uh, surface stuff on the edges there. There. The, we'll start with the wheels. This is the driver's side front wheel. Uh, these are brand new, Transforce. They have uh, 14, 30 seconds of tread left, 13 or 14. Produced in 2018, they have very low kilometers on them. You can see that the brakes are brand new, barely been driven. Uh, there's just, there, we moved it, so there's a little bit of rust that has been smeared, but it's good. Pads are good as well. Rims have typical corrosion, nothing big. Suspension components. I don't see any major rot issues. Uh, it does have surface rust all over as per a uh, truck that would work the roads through the winter. But like I said, I don't see initial, I don't see any real rust issues underneath. Nothing rotten or anything like that. I would probably oil spray it to preserve it from this point, but for now, it seems to be doing all right. There's also a little a speck of rust there in the headlight. This is the passenger side front. Again, new Firestone Transforce uh, 2018 production. And that same 14 30 seconds of tread, nice and even, brand new. New brakes, new brakes all around, so the rear brakes are new as well. 
really hard to see them with the dually, but uh, I could see them with the naked eye and they do look new. Again, suspension components, same as the other side. Surface rusty here and there. No major issues I see though. Quick undercarriage. Looks pretty decent for what it is. It is a work truck. So the rear wheels, uh, the date codes are in the middle, so I can't tell exactly, but the owner says that they are about two years old, three years old. The treads are decent. I think they were at uh, six or seven, 30 seconds. More than that. But you will see that in the report. They look like they're, they are matching Firestones though, so it's good. Rims, a little bit of corrosion. There's the chassis back here. Again, surface rust. But body mounts, everything like that. Looks like it's okay. I don't see any major leaks or anything from the hydraulic system. Airbags in place. The helper bags. Like I said, it looks like, from what I can tell, there's no issues with the hydraulic system. We will see it work in a couple minutes. Ground to the last set of tires. And that'll be all six of them. Again, nice even tread wear. No signs of issue. Matching Firestones. Seem to be in pretty good shape. Rims. A little bit of corrosion on the aluminum, but nothing major. This side, it looks like it's been uh, painted, possibly PR15 or something like that. But again, I don't see any real major obvious rot issues. A little damage there, but. It presents as a work truck because that's what it is. Uh, we'll look at the interior. Again, you can see some of that kind of repair damage showing through there. Uh, this door handle is not hooked up. The lever on the inside does work, but the linkage is apparently not hooked up. So you open the doors, you can see a little bit of repair work, uh, some rust just starting in the rockers that has been repaired. You can see in this back door as well, I'm going to jump in and open that back door so we can show you. So here's the rear door panel. Looks okay, in good shape. But here's some of that rust coming through. Just starting, no holes or anything, but it is starting to get scaly. The bottom of the door, some stuff coming through. There's the seats are in good shape in the back. Bit of wear and tear. No major rips or anything like that in the back though. Looks decent. This is the Harley Davidson interior that has been replaced from another truck. Headliner has some stains in it. Carpets are good. I don't see any wetness or dirt. Does have the big original Super Duty mat in it. Seat backs. The driver's side door panel looks pretty good. No damage, no issues. So the driver's seat does have a bit of wear and tear. And again, floor mat, a little bit of salt, normal, but no major damage to the carpet. As you see, I forgot to tell you the mileage, so. There's 383, 
358 kilometers on this 6.7 power stroke. The air conditioning does work, went through that. Uh, radio turns on. Bit of wear on the steering wheel there. But all this stuff, all this stuff seems to work. Mirrors are not broken, visors are good. Uh, I've been spray bombed, a couple of things. Console's in good shape. A little bit of wear and tear, as you can see. Nothing crazy though. Big spacious in there. Uh, door opens as it should, no real issues. There are a couple lights on. Uh, they will be in the report. It does seem to start and run fine though. A couple of wheel sensors and the uh, fluid, exhaust fluid heating system. A couple things like that, but they will be in the report. Go to the passenger side. Here's the passenger front. Door panel is in pretty good condition. No real issues. Not much wear and tear. Passenger seat does have a little wear and tear on the butt portion, but not as much as the driver's seat. The original beige interior is still evident from the dashboard, as you can see. It does have the owner's manual in the glove box, which is good. So you can see the light bar is installed. Again, this carpet is in good shape. Looks a little wet. Looks like, like it was wet, probably from feet. I don't smell coolant or anything like that. And again, there's a little bit of this corrosion starting. Nothing major, but a little bit. Go to the back door. That door panel is in good shape. You can see these back seats. Go under the hood real quick. here here we have the big old six seven power stroke the pride of the Ford truck fleet crammed in there kind of hard to see a lot but PTO pump is in place. Uh, the hose for the PTO pump right here does have a bit of cracking in it. I don't see any leaks or anything, but it, it looks like it's getting a little dry rotten. The belt, if you can see in the video, it's a little dry rotten as well. Might need a new one soon. From what I can see, I see nothing major, unexpected from a diesel, leak-wise. Pretty decent. There is a little bit of oil but I can see, I can't tell where it's coming from, but it is down on the driver's side. As you can see, it's a little wet down there. Can't quite tell where it's coming from though. There's nothing on the ground on the floor. It's just residual probably. Uh, I guess you can just expect diesels are usually pretty greasy. Uh, your, the coolant, uh, I could not get a good test on it. It's a little too low. So you can see for my hose to get in there. And uh, it was low in here too, so the coolant is a bit low. Oil, back here, tested just fine. Came back with a green light, so we have no real issues. Uh, you have dual batteries in this truck, one here. 
and one here. As you can see, this one, a little corrosion, but uh, they were both pretty good. Voltage, I think they were both 12.4 or 6, respectively, and they were both charging at a little over 14. So we are looking decent there. I was told that one of the alternators, it's originally a dual alternator, one of them is disconnected for the PTO, but the other one is operational. So it is charging, doing its job. Uh, this grill has been painted with spray bomb as well. You can see some runs in it, things like that. So there you have it. This F450. Good old tow truck. Going to pause the video and then I will come back and we will show you the lift doing its job. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we go. Here's the lift doing its thing. I don't hear any noises, anything like that. No leaks. Hydraulics seem to be working just as they should. Alrighty. And there we have it. That's the lift working and that's the rest of the truck. So thanks for watching. And again, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and we will see you next time. Thanks a lot.